My name's Johnny. Hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your Haha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Another bad video for you guys. And today, as you guys know, it is the final release of UL's content is slowly coming to an end. We've also made some upgrades, but before we go ahead and get into a good amount of these upgrades, I'm gonna go ahead and put a timestamp for you guys because this video is gonna be a little long winded. I'm gonna put a timestamp for you guys, letting you know when the gameplay is if you guys are just here for the gameplay. But I want to say thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys have been showing these videos still even on the back end of the year coming to the streams things of that nature it really does mean a lot man thank you guys for all the love and support but as you guys know towards the end of the year we do um rose to the super bowl with raiders theme whatever theme teams we have that we can use from the community so obviously for us we have Raiders theme team for me, we have Patriots theme team from Madden Beast, and we have Texans theme team from Outrage. If you guys have a theme team that aren't those three theme teams, you guys are comfortable with letting me use your account, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully I can get some gameplay on the channel, expand to more content. But besides that, Raiders theme team, we're gonna go ahead, jump into this real quick. But real quick, before we go ahead and get into Richard Seymour's stats, I want to go ahead and say if you guys enjoy this type of content, man, make sure you guys drop some laughs on that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. With that being said, Richard Seymour comes in at 6'6", 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 99 strength, 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 everything else, okay? So, as it is, this Richard Seymour is not a bad card, but here's the thing. Fletcher Cox is still the better D tackle. Now, of course, I'm still gonna get you guys gameplay with Richard Seymour, and he does also give you times to Raider for your team cam if you guys still need that. He does give you that. And also yesterday we had Tyree Wilson come out as far as the rookie premier player for the Raiders. Coming in at 6'6", 99 speed, 99 acceleration, uh, 99 everything except finesse and play rec. So honestly, it, it might as well be 99 on finesse. It's not gonna really make much of a difference. 97 play rec, it, it is what it is, but the obvious 20 AP abilities that we're going to be rocking on Tyree Wilson, I believe is unpredictable and no outsiders, but we do have one AP on him as far as edge threat elite. Again, you still need a pass rushing ability on those edges. He does get edge threat on its own, but honestly, I'd rather just spend the one AP, get edge threat elite. You know, you get the good edge rush move and you get under pressure. So to me, it just makes sense. Richard Seymour is only going to have inside stuff on him as far as ability, just one zero AP ability, because that's all we can really put on him. But again, in my opinion, Fletcher Cox is still going to be the starting D tackle for the team. The biggest difference between Fletcher Cox and Richard Seymour is pretty much the height, which goes to Richard Seymour by two inches, but the speed and the acceleration both go to Fletcher Cox and they both weigh the same. I, I believe they both weigh 310. So, again, you're not really missing anything from Richard Seymour going to Fletcher Cox, but you will be missing those two zero AP abilities that you get with Fletcher Cox. So, I think at the end of the day, he's definitely going to be the starting D tackle for the team. But as it is, this is what No Fly Zone looks like as a whole. There will be some changes possibly coming before we do the road to the Super Bowl content with the Raiders theme team, but we'll get to those changes when we get to it. But as it is, this is what No Fly Zone is looking like. Um, we're 57 out of 50 on Raider Kim, so obviously big time stack, but I'm not going to change anything or add any fillers. Having a, like I've already said, having a full Raiders no fly zone, I'm, I'm happy with it. And as it is, O line has changed. We picked up Anthony Bradford at the guard spot and Paris Johnson at the left tackle spot. We had um, obviously UL O line. Again, stats don't really matter at this point in the year get as many zero AP ability players as you can. Right now, Anthony Bradford has nasty streak and post up for zero AP. And we have identifier and secure protector on um, Paris Johnson. So again, both of the UL players, we got who they were, but they were both LTDs, went ahead and quick sold those guys. So they're out of there. But again, we haven't gotten rookie premieres for these guys yet. So again, this might be subject to change at some point, but you know, that's more of a wait and see kind of thing. And also Joker fan, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I wanna go ahead and show you guys this real quick. As it is, like I've already said, UL, this is the final release. If you guys still have these Ultimate Legend tokens, go ahead, 
put them into the uh you put five ultimate legend tokens into the set i forgot which set it is but you you can put five ultimate legend tokens in and you guys get these quick sales back again i got lucky enough to get a 250k quick sell out of this so you know try your luck if you're not using these for anything else you might as well you know gamble them around see what you can get out of them but joker fam as it is those are the changes that we've made in no fly zone again richard seymour i like him you know what i'm saying he's he's a beast but again at this point in the year gotta have players that get two zero ap abilities it's just as simple as that but of course we're still gonna get you guys gameplay and see if we can ball out all right See how boys in there. All right, Joker Fam. So we found ourselves a game. There go our Raider boys right there. We got ourselves Lamar, Raekwon Smith, and a Ryan Shazier. So, let's see how this game goes, man. All right, Joker Fam. So starting on offense first, man. Let's see if we can go ahead and get it going. Again, only changes to our offensive side of the ball would be the O line. So we're gonna see how the pass protection is going to be. We're gonna see if uh, we can get run lanes the same, things of that nature. So let's see what we can do here. Pass protection looks good to me, so can't really complain about it. Like I said, having two zero AP abilities, man, it's it's just what it is, man. It's way more important um, than stats. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what we got here. Uh, we might take off here. Nope, didn't need to. Let's go. The good playmaker <clears throat> had time in the pocket, man. Once again, you can't. Can't beat that, man. Protection held up. Die. Touchdown. Easy money. Hey. Way to get it started. Come on. All right, Joker Fam. So, we're on no fly zone now. Let's see what we can get going here. Yep, deep corner around. Yep, obviously, you got to go to it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Not like I haven't seen this ran, I don't know how many times this year. Hey man, it is what it is, bro. So again, guys, um, I do wish we could get more pressure, um, just to kind of show off Tyree and um, show off Tyree and uh, I'm about to say Fletcher, not Fletcher. What a dot, man! Easy dots, and that's a quick, quick get him out, man. Let's go, bro. All right, well, next game up. Um, I'm assuming they're all Raider boys right there. And we got ourselves a Chiefs themed team, Mahomes, Denard Robinson, and a Mike Singletary. So, Chiefs versus Raiders, let's get into it. All right, Joker Fab. So, starting out no fly zone, man. Let's see if Tyree and Richard Seymour can get after it, bro. Mmm. What's that, a C route? Oh my god. No pressure off the off that was Reggie White side though. Man. Alright, Joker Fam. So we're on offense, man. We just gotta figure out how to stop them C routes. Once we do that, we'll be alright. As it is, look like homeboy's gonna be in DB fire if I had to guess. Yeah, what a shocker. Yep. Nice little high point. Don't hurt nobody. I probably should have just... I normally could just circle around and just go right back upfield, but I probably should have just stayed how I was running. That's on me. I kind of messed that up. Let me see if we can get a little high point going. Get a little high point. Get a little, little, little high point. That's it. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know? Alright. I can no fly zone. See what we can get going here. Oh, that's on me. Alright, so third and seven. Let's see what we can go ahead, lock up. Do what we gotta do here. Dang man, Lester, come on, bruh. Go! So what was that Richard Seymour? Hey man, do it for the gameplay. We needed it. Yo, Moss, I need that acrobat to proc, my guy. Yeah, definitely about committing here. 
Yep, yep, yep. Stymied. Stymied. Come on, fourth and goal. What you got for me? So we can see if we can lock this up. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. And a fumble. Let's go. I'll take that. Who was that? Tyree? Come on, baby. Let's go! Yes, sir! A little high point don't hurt nobody. Come on, man. All right, 40 seconds. So we got enough time for a mistake to happen, man. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Oh, come on. All right, Joker fam. So we're in the second half. Gave up three at the end. It is what it is. But uh, homeboy tried to get an onside kick on us. Obviously, that ain't work. So, it is what it is, man. We're going to go ahead, do what we got to do. You want to stay in DB fire? I'm a, I'm with it, man. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Going to be a wrong play. Dang it. Oh, I was a step behind. I saw it last second. I should have got that pick. All right, back on offense, man. Let's see if we can. Oh, now he's dropping him back. Hey, I respect it, man. I respect it. Let's go. Easy dots. Hey, got that shot on activated. It's been a while since I... Been a good minute since I actually got this in a video, I should say. All right, hey, man. Let's go ahead and put it to work, then. Uh, okay. Keep it nice and easy. <clears throat> Apparently not easy enough. Gotcha. Oh, easy dot. Easy dot. Easy dot. Oh, he manned him up at the last second. Can I still get that there? Dot. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. All right, Zerker fam. I can no fly zone. Homeboy gonna have to start taking some big plays eventually. <laughs> right, let's go, Got Lester. It. Need it, baby. There it is, GGs. Get him out, bro. Come on. Easy, man. Thank you. Golly. All right, Jacob Ramp. So let's get me in the gameplay, man. As it is. Richard Seymour got a sack. Not, not disappointed about that. Happy about it. it is what it is. But at the end of the day, like I said, Fletcher Clocks is still going to be the better pickup. And also Tyree got a sack too, so I'm happy about that too. Again, this was like a 2-in-1 gameplay for both of them. But Fletcher Clocks is going to be the better D-tackle on the fact that he has better speed. He has better acceleration, which are very important as far as pass rushing. And he gets two AP. He gets two abilities for zero AP. You know what I'm saying? And two very important abilities at that with inside stuff and tackle supreme. So as it is, that's going to be the better pickup. Again, I'll keep Richard Seymour just just because maybe on a, a goal line situation because he does get inside stuff for zero. And maybe I can have him, Fletcher Cox, Warren Sapp in the center, you know what I'm saying, in the middle of the field. And maybe we can get a stop on goal line when we need it type stuff. But again, at the end of the day, I don't think Richard Seymour is worth the pickup unless you need the times two Raider Kim, which a lot of players already get it. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't see why you would need it anymore. But as it is, that's my two cents. You guys can let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, man, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, man, make sure you guys drop some laughs on that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. But that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Peace.